It's open. Afternoon sunshine, and I'm not the type to leave my door open. You tend to get home around the same time every day, so I unlocked it 10 minutes ago. You're welcome, by the way. I think there must be some noise distorting my hearing because I refuse to believe that you really just called me fussy. If I hadn't spent so much of my life observing and helping humans, I'd assume all of them are, oh, what's the word? Let's go with peculiar. I did not just call you a weirdo. I believe you just called yourself a weirdo, sunshine. But, I mean, truly, who's keeping track? Does recounting your day require you sitting on my counter? You know, I, I don't know why I expected any other response. <sighs> well, are you going to tell me about your day or not, sunshine? Yes, I will actually listen, and I might even consider withholding any additional sarcasm as an exclusive treat to you. Mm, yes, I remember you mentioning that, and if I recall, I said something along the lines of, well, what makes you think a Cupid has any interest or business in going to school? You already enrolled? You're moving rather fast, don't you think? Where are you enrolled? Hi? I didn't take you as someone interested in education like that. You must have made a good impression on them. Oh, no, on the contrary, actually. Hive's an excellent school, at least if you're measuring excellency in the eyes of perceived reputation. There are others near Notre Dame that have noteworthy reputations as well. Hive happens to be the closest to our apartments, though. However, my concerns lie elsewhere. What happened to easing yourself into vivified life? Diving headfirst into classes, late, mind you, since the semester already began, seems like the exact opposite of that sunshine. Knowledge is safety, but it's only been a few weeks. I simply worry that you're getting yourself into something you can't actually handle. Really? Just the other day, you called me in a frenzy because you saw a cupid in true form. And I'll keep refusing because what my true form looks like is none of your business. But you're free to keep trying to get me to budge on that sunshine. I find that perseverance of yours a bit admirable. Sunshine, you don't owe me anything. Going to any institution shouldn't be about you being useful. It should be about learning how your body and magic work in unison, or how to operate vivified life in society. If you think Hive is where you can learn those things, then I will work on being more supportive of your endeavors. All I want is for you to be certain. Yes, really. Ugh, adoring divinity, why do you attempt to crush my ribs when you hug me? I'm made of magic, not indestructible. Did you do anything outside of enrollment today? Me? Oh, it's absolutely riveting. You see, today, I did... Absolutely. Sorry, Sunshine, but 
Perhaps I'm not nearly as exhilarating as you hoped. Is it so impossible to believe that I choose to spend my days simply lounging around instead of milling around the city? Oh no, my poor pride. How will I ever recover from this verbal wound? The reasons I choose to inhabit this realm instead of the one of my people are entirely my own. I'm one cupid sunshine. Others do plenty while in this realm if they so please. You sound inquisitive. Should I wait here for you to get paper from your apartment? Or should I begin making arrangements to keep someone standby for you? You don't have to rip my arm off, I'll tell you simply because you asked. Hey, do not hop onto the counter again, you menace. I have a couch, you know this. Scoot over. Sunshine, I can't sit down with you stretched across the entire couch. Can you at least move your feet? What is it you want to know, exactly? I don't see what's so interesting about what we do here. You could ask me anything else about Cupid Kind, and you want to know what we do in your realm. All right, if you insist. The majority of Cupids reside in this realm alongside their coteries for various reasons. Yes, a coterie. Almost every cupid belongs to one regardless of which realm they choose to reside in. Coteries are... Uh, coteries are to cupids what a pack is to werewolves, um, a dynasty to vampires. They vary in numbers. Some are as small as ten or so cupids. Others can include hundreds. Certain coteries are divided by classification. They stick with cupids that share their feeding preferences. That's not necessarily a requirement of any kind, but some cupids flock to each other for that reason. No, not necessarily. Technically, we have no definitive reason to operate in your realm. When we emerge, we spend a short time in our own realm, learning about what we are, how to feed, and so on. Our realm is absent of non-cupids, so we start out feeding on other cupids instead. With this in mind, cupids could survive fine without other vivified beings around, in theory. However, most of us prefer other sources. Feeding solely on other cupids can lead to a cycle of drained magic over time for every party involved. Not to mention, feeding on different emotions and beings can have an array of tastes and textures. Instead of remaining amongst cupid kind, some cupids remedy their hunger by observing humans to facilitate creation of affectionate desires, similar to the stagnant perception of cupids as is. No, there's no bow and arrow involved. Cupids have innate abilities one of them being desire shifting. We can't create feelings in anyone, but we can sort of, I guess, redirect them, so to speak. If I were assigned a pair of non-cupids and I sensed that one was thinking of confessing to the other but got cold feet, I could usher their mind towards following through with that confession. They confess, they're usually happy, and now I've been provided a meal. Benefits everyone. Many coteries conduct this kind of work, but it's part of a larger system. Regions are split up, coteries are assigned to quadrants, and subsequently, certain charges, clients, whatever it is you choose to call them. Arguably, that is the most common explanation as to what a cupid is doing in this realm. I mean, a cupid could come to this realm to feed in a much smaller way. We aren't prohibited by any governing body from coming to this realm. 
Additionally, there's no rule saying a cupid has to go to such lengths to acquire the affectionate desires, especially since feeding isn't an incredibly active action per se. Some cupids work for your government rather than ours. Uh, some enjoy certain delicacies that can't be found amongst cupids. It really just depends on the cupid in question. We can be rather solitary if we choose. Sunshine, sunshine, slow down please. Start with one question at a time. No, I, I don't have a coterie, not anymore. I did say that, and yes, most cupids belong to one, but I don't. I, I had one in the past. I nullified my bond with it. I've since been reintroduced to another, but I haven't chosen to bond with it. Coteries are supposed to be close-knit communities. Even in much larger ones, the cupids a part of it are meant to have someone they can turn to in times of need. You depend on your fellow members to protect you from harm or look out for you when you need it most. That is what a coterie is supposed to do. But not every coterie does that. Some are self-serving clusters whose only goal is to keep their head down or clamor to the top above the rest of us. I may have chosen to bond with my previous coterie, but I know better now than to be so naive. I'd rather not talk about what happened to me. It's not something I'm comfortable recounting yet, nor is it something that I want you to have to live with the knowledge of. I know you care, Sunshine. I know. But not now. Not today, please. It's fine. You didn't do anything wrong by asking about my people. I know you were just curious. I'd never want to stifle that curiosity, not when you still got so much more to learn about. So, don't stop asking questions, alright? Especially if the response is an attempt to quiet you down. No one should ever take that away. <sighs> I am not sweet. This is just something I happen to feel strongly about. Don't expect me to go all soft and sensitive anytime soon. You'll end up waiting for eternity. Are you going to head back to your place now? Classes next Friday? That seems soon. The only thing I'm admitting to is shock at how quickly you dive into things. Yeah, I know even Hive wouldn't make you leave me to my peace and quiet that easily. I'll see you around, sunshine.